Joshua record, you sort of mentioned it in the League Cup, is, uh, is something else, really, isn't it? Is it down to anything or...? Um, I don't know. When, when I seen the stat, I was, I was quite surprised at it. And I just want to do that in the league now because then that would be, that'd be something to be proud of. But no, I'm, I'm happy with that stat and maybe I can continue that against Arsenal. Um, I don't know. I think it was just a build-up of um, emotions, really, because like obviously I always like scoring goals. Everyone likes scoring goals. But I don't know. Something in me during, like, during that week, I just felt like... Uh, I need I need a goal like just to just to know I'm at it sort of thing. So when so when it went in, I, I was like more relieved than anything. So it was just one of them celebrations. Maybe next time I might just score and walk to the half. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> had a lot of work to do for your goal on Tuesday night. But the work from the Tom Tribal and winning mm-hmm. the ball and hitting a pass like that, basically spinning on the spot, yeah. uh, was something else. And it's hard to as much as. Tim and Alex coming back in and made a difference too. What what has Tom done in terms of coming into that side? I think the best way to describe Tom for, for anyone, he's just one of them hidden gems. Um, no one knew much about him. I didn't even know who he was until he rocked up. He doesn't even look like a footballer. And then <laughs> he comes in and then you just see you see his performances like the last couple of weeks. Uh, he's been outstanding. He had to wait, obviously, to to get into the team. But once he's been in the team, he's been probably one of our standout players, and he ticks all the right boxes for us. Like uh, he he works hard, he wins the ball, and he's he's good on the ball, and he just gets everything ticking. And he's got that little aggressive um, streak in him, so that's that's something we need. And having him like on the left side next to me is is great because he's always in my ear, do this, do that, and that's something that the the team needs. It's interesting you mention that because. I don't want to bring up Millwall, but I'm going to. Millwall was obviously a fairly meek old 90 minutes and what have you, done and dusted. Since then, the last few games, you've been away from home, the home mm-hmm. crowd's been banged from blood because you've been playing dark arts and nasty side and all mm-hmm. this sort of stuff. Uh, is there anything conscious in that? Is, it, is there a change in the nasty streak in this side? Um, I don't know. I think it was more with the boys trying to get that togetherness because it was always there, but it was just waiting for that click to to happen and now it's happened like I think everyone's just more aggressive and it just takes just takes one win to to change everything and we got that win and you'd say what the last four or five games we've been we've been really good um, we've kept three or four clean sheets um, we have, probably need to score more goals but we don't look like a team that's going to concede goals at the moment which is which is really good for us yeah how much of a good I mean, it gets talked about about that foundation of, of building off and obviously you're one of the forward players, so in terms of the mentality, is it exactly that? The sturdier you are at the back, the, the freer you almost feel going forward? Yeah, well, you always say like the attack wins games, but your defence wins the wins like titles and leagues. And I think we've now got that balance right where we're like strong at the back and that gives everyone licence to, to, to go forward. The manager's installed like... A, a sort of mentality uh, in everyone from the forwards all the way to the to the back line. Like you, you've got to do like you got it's like do or die sort of thing. So everyone's working hard out there. I'm trying to improve on my defending. Everyone else is like trying to improve on their their weaknesses. And as long as we can keep improving week on week, then I think we'll be right up there. Just one more. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But did you and Angus pop up north? Yeah. Let's go to go and see Jay. Yeah, yeah. Is that, yeah. is that the first time you've been up to see him? Yeah, since? first first time I went and seen him. So, so that is was it fun. Nice. A bit weird. Um, strange, strange. Him being in such a big city because normally Norwich is so quiet. So when we was out, it was just hectic. And is it nice when you're catching up like that? I'm not, I know you're in contact all the time, mm-hmm. but um, in terms of having different journeys like this, what what's it like when you, when you catch up? Um, it's exciting because we've always got new stories to share. You know. At Norwich, we we know everything that's happening, and uh, it's like, oh, so what happened at training today, like that, that that sort of stuff. So it's it's good, and he's enjoying it up there. I'm enjoying my football down here, so that's the that's the main thing. Spot on. And can you learn from his experience in a way? Because uh, that's a big jump for him, and I'm mm-hmm. sure at some point you'll want that big jump, be it here or or elsewhere. But can, can you learn from what Jacob's going through? Um, yeah, well, I think everyone can learn. Everyone can learn off each other. Um, I think I think it helps that he's that he's my brother, and whatever he's feeling, I pretty much feel as well. So I can like relate to 
how he's feeling about certain certain subjects. So hopefully, when I when I get to that stage, then I'll be well prepared. He'll be coming down here soon. Uh, what Jake coming down here? Yeah. Uh, when he's got the time off, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Cheers, Josh. Thank you.